Stick him to this old King James Bible. Here's your blue book. Hello. And I'm determined till the day I die. I'm sticking with this old book. I don't care who likes it. I don't care who loves it. I don't care how many friends don't like me. I got a preacher that was a friend of mine for many, many years. And he won't let me come and preach anymore because he's afraid I might get up and tell a woman how she ought to dress. Or... It's all right. I ain't never asked to go nowhere to preach. But if he did ask me, if he'd asked me before now, well, I've preached for it many times, but if he'd asked me lately after I found that out, I, I probably would feel better to say that. <laughs> no. Paul said, I pressed toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. But he said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, he had to keep his body under control in subjection. Why? Why did Paul say that? Why does an athlete do that? Why? Because his goal is Matthew 25, 21, to hear the Lord say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That's all that matters. Your bank account won't matter. Your car won't matter. Your home won't matter. Nothing will matter until, except hearing him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. The athlete knows that. By the way, you can't cut corners. Brother Basham said the other night, and I agree wholeheartedly. Inconsistencies kill us. Amen. How many young people, how many parents have sat across my desk in the last 50 years, preacher, and have said, I lost my kids. I don't know how. I don't know what happened. We tried to do everything right. No, they lost them because they were inconsistent. If the child wanted to go to the ball game on Sunday, they went to the ball game. If the child wanted to go fishing on Sunday, they went fishing. They didn't stand up for the word of God and the things of God. Inconsistency is killing us. Amen. Amen. 